Now, right over here to our left is known as the track control panel. And the width of it, or how wide it sits on our screen, can be adjusted. We could grab this line right here, make it bigger or smaller, or even hide it completely. If we just want to see our media without seeing the tracks on the side. And to get it back, put a cursor over here, notice the line, and drag it out to the size we want. So it's completely adjustable. And we could also put it on the right side of our screen. If we right click down here in the empty area, we could choose show track control panel on right side of arrange or the arrangement window. Choose this and it puts it over here. But again, we could adjust how wide it is like this or hide it completely or pull it out to the size we want. And to put it back, just right click down here again and turn this option off. And it puts it back on the left side of our screen. But we could also adjust it using double click. If we go right here where the line is highlighted, if we double click it, it's going to hide it to the left side. Go back over here and double click it again, it unhides it or puts it back to the original size. But what you might not realize is it's not really hiding and showing, it's actually toggling between two different positions or sizes. So if I double click it and then drag it out to a different size, maybe smaller like this. Now, if I double click it, it jumps back to this size, hit it again, it goes to this size. So it's really toggling to two different positions or sizes, not necessarily showing and hiding. If we wanted to show and hide again, just put it over here. Now double click it, it jumps to this position, double click it again, now it completely hides it. So it could toggle from show and hide or two different sizes. Just by adjusting the second size, double click it, and it goes back to the first size. There's also actions that work with this. If we go up here to the actions menu, show action list, and type into the filter track control panel area. And there's two actions we should know. The first one is going to toggle it to show and hide. So if you have it set up to two different sizes, it's going to erase the other size. So no matter what, if we choose this, it's going to hide it. Choose it again, it's going to show it back to the same size we had it. So that's going to erase the AB positioning. So if you had two sizes you were toggling between, this is going to delete one of them and replace it with hiding it completely. But we can assign a keyboard shortcut to this if we want to do this without having to open up this window. Or we could use this option, which is going to toggle between two sizes again. Now, right now, it's going to hide it and show it. But again, if we put it to hide and choose a different size, maybe something like this. Now, if we choose this action instead or assign a keyboard shortcut to it, it's going to toggle between the two different sizes we set up, bigger or small. But again, if we use this action at any point, it's going to undo that second size and replace it with hiding it completely. Show it or hide it. But assigning keyboard shortcuts to this is more efficient than using screen sets. Although we can still use screen sets if we want more flexibility. So let's go to the view menu and go to our screen sets or layouts. And if we go under the tab for windows, here we could save our screen sets, which is going to save the size of the track control panel as well as all the other windows on our screen. But if we save this one, let's name it normal. We can now adjust this to a different size. Let's hide it completely and save this one here. And let's save another one that goes between the two. Maybe something like this. We'll name it midsize. Now we have three sizes that are saved. We have normal, hide, and midsize, which we can assign keyboard shortcuts to. By default, they're F7 through F9, but of course, we could change these in here. But doing it this way, it's even more flexible as we could hide it completely, make it normal size or mid size or any sizes we want to save. But if you don't want to waste all these keyboard shortcuts to do this, just use the other option. Either assign a keyboard shortcut to one of these or just double click over here. And it'll toggle between hiding and showing. And we could save each size just by dragging it out. 
to the size we want to toggle. So now it toggles between this size and this size, just by double clicking that line. So that's pretty much it. That's adjusting the track control panel with in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.